Hey, what's going on with all my money motivated style? It's gonna be a quick video about bosses taking losses. You know what I mean? And I'm getting that uh that phrase. It's a it's, it's a phrase that's been going around, but it's a phrase that Dame and Dash is using. Dame Dash is using because if people don't know, it's a lot of people. This video is not just based on the celebrity. It's about the um the message I got behind it. Cause I know a lot of people know who Dame Dash is. A lot of people don't know who he is. You know, he. He was the person that started out with Jay-Z, you know what I mean? If we just want to just make it long, make a long story short, he did business partnerships with Jay-Z, amongst other things, you know what I mean? And he's known for his, like, arrogance or his cockiness when it comes to him being a boss, him having money, you know what I mean? He got a he got into a heated, kind of heated debate with Charlemagne a couple years back, you know what I mean, saying, my son ain't going to be no worker, you know what I mean? And it could be looking at, it could be taking... Is him shitting on lower class or people who work, you know what I mean? But when I watch this stuff, I, I don't really get in my feelings. The only stuff I really get in my feelings about and the stuff I bring y'all is about the uh, the COVID stuff, the stuff like that, you know what I mean? About how these folks trying to play us in the government, how they trying to, how they basically poisoning us. And don't too much stuff make me mad, you know what I mean? Or aggravated like that. And because I just wanted to come and tell people, you know, I just hate the 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 uh the praise. I mean the um uh, how people rejoice in other people's downfall. You know what I mean? Like no matter how you look at Dame Dash is arrogant or cocky. You know it's it's weird. It's weird to me how people rejoice in your downfall. You know what I mean? It gives me. It kind of reminds me of the situation with Kevin Samuels. How people was uh online happy, re praising his death. You know what I mean? Like rejoicing in his death and. And like I said, it's weird because we don't really know these people. We can only watch these people from afar. We can watch them through this internet, or what I call the new television. But to attach your feelings to somebody so much to where they're doing good and you watching them fall down and you're happy about that, you know what I mean? This just makes no sense. Cause like I said with Kevin Samuels, why would you be happy? When, when, that, when Kevin Samuels died, it let me know about a lot of people who I had probably on my channel, you know what I mean? A lot of those people I ain't here no more, but I remember, yeah, I remember I went live and I was like, I was down there not getting a tool with my uh, subscribers, but it was like, I was like, damn, it, it let me know that a lot of people who was watching me wasn't as spiritual as they was claiming to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause there's no way you can be spiritual and happy that somebody uh, fell from grace, you know what I mean? Or happy that somebody has died that you don't know, you know what I mean? You're not gonna do that, especially when that person hasn't affected you or that person hasn't been out here taking lives, you know what I mean? Where you really don't really have a reason other than, oh, I ain't like this person's opinion. You know what I mean? It lets me know that a lot of people were out here child, it was a lot of women, you know what I mean? It was like 70% women and it was like 30% men who was happy too, you know what I mean? Cause, Cause you gotta realize, Kevin Samuels said stuff that women didn't like, and he also said stuff that men like. The men didn't like, you know what I mean? But I'm not a person that's gonna be in my feelings like that to be happy somebody's dead. Because when it comes to like stuff that came, Kevin Samuels was saying, he was saying stuff that could apply to me. You know what I mean? Make me feel some type of way, make me feel low to the ground. But it never did. You know what I mean? It's just like I was looking at the video and like, okay, that's his opinion. A lot of stuff he said I agree with. A lot of stuff he said I didn't agree with. It's like Charleston White. It's a lot of stuff I say that I agree with him. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of stuff I, I see that he says and it's like, no, not of my character, you know, but it's just like a lot of people, they let this stuff hit their heart, man. You know what I mean? Uh, an opinion. Like I said, I made videos in the past and my opinion hit people heart. They'll come in the longest text missions on the paragraph talking. You know what I mean? If you are letting somebody get you that aggravated online, you need to take a break. You need to take a break from this device or this this television that you're watching me on or watching other people on. Take a break. Because somebody can get you out of their character or really make you happy that they're uh no longer here on this planet. That's a serious that's a serious issue within you. You know what I mean? Because when somebody's uh talking about something, uh, a certain topic that you may not be excelling in, and it says a lot about you when you get so mad about it. You know what I mean? Cause you're that's just saying like, well, I feel so low of myself 
of when Dame Dash loses out his money and you rejoicing in it. It's like, I feel so low on myself. I finally feel like he's down here with me now. You know what I mean? So now I can be happy about it. You know, like it says a lot about the person when it comes to a lot of the situations. You know what I mean? It don't say it don't say too much about the person that you mad. It says a lot about you. It says a lot about your character. What can get you out your character? It's like anybody who's getting out, going outside and getting called a racial slur and just going crazy about it. You know what I mean? That says a lot about you. How you just handle that? You know what I mean? You can you can really ignore that person, get in your car and walk off. But this person has so much power over you, or you feel so low that these people are already on a low vibration calling you outside your name but you are on a lower vibration because you let that trickle over into that getting you mad or you taking the action to want to go do something about it no that person is on a low vibration why would you go to a low vibration just to go address that and this person and you're not the only person this person called the n-word or call a buster or a sucker or a b-word you know you're not the only person they called it. If they using their words in their vocabulary and they're using it. So you know what I'm saying? But everybody ain't gonna be like you and just get out of the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, because like I said with Dame Dash, me being the person I am and being business minded, me seeing how he uh, talk and he how, how he move about his business, I'm, I'm already seeing like, I couldn't be a person that would be under him or dealing with him because our personalities wouldn't clash, but I still wouldn't be happy if he went broke, you know what I mean? Or he died, you know what I mean? Like people have the most weirdest mindsets out here to be happy when somebody is gone. Like this, I'm still took him back I'm from uh, like Kevin Samuels death, you know what I mean? It didn't really affect me like that because I didn't really watch his content like that to be attached to him, you know what I mean? Or anybody content I watch. I watch a lot of channels out here, but I'm not attached to them where I would be happy if they died, you know what I mean? I'd probably be like, damn, it's dope if they died and I really like their content, but even if I didn't like their content, I still wouldn't be on no happy stuff. It would it'd be, it'd be nothing about this situation that'd make me happy, you know what I mean? Because I would feel like a true fuck nigga to be happy that somebody else has passed that I don't know, that I'm at the house sitting, home, sitting at home watching. It would actually make me a creep because I'm actually at home taking this content in and I don't like this person. So when this person dies, I'm happy. You know what I mean? But the whole time I could have just chose to watch something else. You know what I mean? It's like a million, billion channels out here. And you choose to watch the two people or one person that you don't like. You think they ain't saying nothing about you? You need to get checked into a mental institution. So that's why when I would live, I was so surprised that people who was watching me saying they was happy. Uh, he talked about women bag, he talked about, and why is you happy he died? Like, you could have not watched this channel. The people, the same people who was man, mad about his content was the same people who was watching every video that came down their time. Now, click, click. If you truly don't like a person, you wouldn't even like, you wouldn't even had that animosity built up. The animosity was built up because you watched so many of his videos and you disagree so strongly and so much that this stuff built up. Why let it build up? You know what I mean? Watch content you actually like. Like people, watch people like me that you like. Watch people, you know what I mean. If you don't like me, you know what I mean. Because like I see, I'm pretty sure I got people who don't like me who still watch me too. Weird, just weird. You know what I'm saying? But for the majority, the most part, most people who watch me like me. You know what I mean? They, they like my videos. They share my videos. They comment when they can. And you know what I mean? It's just all, it's all good vibes on here. You know what I mean? But it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Laughing at somebody's downfall even if they was a person who laughed at yours. You know what I mean? It's still like you playing a tit for tat childish game. Wow, oh, yeah, when I was down, you you laughed, no, I laughed at you, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta grow up, you know what I mean? It's some point in time where you gotta grow up, you know what I mean? When it comes to mindset, get past all the BS, man. People are gonna be arrogant whether they have money or whether they don't. Some people just have the, the arrogance in their personality. The person I know a lot of people who are arrogant who don't have any money, who grew up like that, who are just cocky. You know what I'm saying? Some of them get women, some of them don't. It's just like some people just have personalities. So you were, you were fighting mad about somebody else's personality. Just just think about it. When it comes down, you get mad at somebody else's content or the way they move. 
You know what I mean? It's one thing to be mad at your spouse or how they how they move, like, oh, she wear this outside of you. But even in that reality, you still can choose to leave her. You know what I mean? You can change the channel when it comes to the content creator. You can leave the person and get away from the person who you with if you don't like anything about them. You know what I mean? Would you be happy if your spouse died? You know what I mean? That you, your ex died that you didn't like? You know what I mean? Ah, that was she get. She was cocky in the way. She was a hoe. She was a slut. You know what? That's how, that's how I think, though. You know what I mean? That's how I want to make this video about, man. Bosses do take losses. A lot of people have ups and downs. You know what I mean? I done had my fair share of ups and downs. But it's just a roller coaster of life, man. You're going to go up, and go up, go down, and you're going to keep on having that roller coaster until you really learn. And then all those downs going to be like still up. You know what I mean? Even when you're going down, you're still going to be up. You're not going to tumble all the way down because... If you're learning lessons from your, your past, it's gonna it's gonna be smooth sailing after a certain period of time. Coast is gonna be clear. You're gonna be smooth sailing. So man, if y'all like the video, make sure I hit the like, share, you know what I mean, subscribe, and just y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.